How did the audition come about for uh, The Sopranos? Uh, I was working as an entertainment director. I, I grew up in Brooklyn, and I, uh, I, uh, <clears throat> I moved to Las Vegas in 1980. And uh, I was there, and I became the entertainment director at the Riviera Hotel. I was 40 years old. I had been dabbling in acting for about seven or eight years, just as a hobby. You know, things would come to town, and I would, you know, a couple lines here, a couple lines there. If you see Casino, and if you put it in slow motion, <laughs> you'll hear me yell, Joey, look out, look out. So, so that's where I got my sick card. So it was kind of a hobby, but I was starting to get some stuff, you know? I did a couple movies, King of Queens, a few TV shows, and uh, I came to New York. Uh, a friend of mine had been to my wedding 10 years early, and I said, if and when you ever get married, I promise I'll be there for you. So I fly to New York, and uh, there was an agent helping me. I said, see if you can get me to read for that show, The Sopranos, which I had never seen. And it was uh, going into the second season. So I went in, I read for the role of an FBI agent. She said, uh, Christopher Walken's wife is the, was the casting director. Uh, and you would never think the two of them are married if you saw them. But, uh, and so I read for the part, and uh, she said, if I could get you back here, would you uh, come back and read for David, who I didn't even know who that was. And I read and I got the role. So the first year I kept my day job in Vegas, it cost me $24,000 to make 22000 I flew myself back and forth. I was in six episodes. And uh, then the following year, they gave me a contract, and I moved my family back here. But it was really like hitting the lottery. If that guy doesn't get married, we're not here right now talking. You know, It was really right place, right time, right role. You know?